In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Thank you for being here this morning. As we continue this day, we bring to God with gratitude our family and friends and all of those whom we wish and pray God bless them this day in a special way. And we acknowledge our own sinfulness, the times we failed to have the heart of Jesus, the times we made poor choices. So we pray, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. Judah approached Joseph and said, I beg you, my Lord, let your servant speak earnestly to my Lord and do not become angry with your servant, for you are the equal of Pharaoh. My Lord asked your servants, have you a father or another brother? So we said to my Lord, we have an aged father and a young brother, the child of his old age. This one's full brother is dead, and since he is the only one by that mother who is left, his father dotes on him. Then you told your servants, bring him down to me that my eyes may look on him. Unless your youngest brother comes back with you, you shall not come into my presence again. When we returned to your servant, our father, we reported to him the words of my Lord. Later, our father told us to come back and buy some food for the family. So we reminded him, we cannot go down there. Only if our youngest brother is with us can we go, for we may not see the man if our youngest brother is not with us. Then your servant, our father, said to us, As you know, my wife bore me two sons. One of them, however, disappeared, and I had to conclude that he must have been torn to pieces by wild beasts. I have not seen him since. If you now take this one away from me too, and some disaster befalls him, you will send my white head down to the netherworld in grief. Joseph could no longer control himself in the presence of all his attendants, so he cried out, Have everyone withdraw from me. Thus no one else was about when he made himself known to his brothers. But his sobs were so loud that the Egyptians heard him, and so the news reached Pharaoh's palace. 
I am Joseph, he said to his brothers. Is my father still in good health? But his brothers could give him no answer, so dumbfounded were they at him. Come closer to me, he told his brothers. When they had done so, he said, I am your brother Joseph, whom you once sold into Egypt. But now do not be distressed, and do not reproach yourselves for having sold me here. It was really for the sake of saving lives that God sent me here ahead of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Remember, Remember the marvels the Lord has done. When the Lord called down a famine on the land and ruined the crop that sustained them, he sent a man before them, Joseph, sold as a slave. Remember, Remember the, marvels. the marvels the Lord has done. They had weighed him down with fetters, and he was bound with chains, till his prediction came to pass, and the word of the Lord proved him true. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the peoples set him free. He made him lord of his house, the ruler of all his possessions. Remember, Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, as you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper with your belts. No sack for the journey or a second tunic or sandals, or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it, and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words. Go outside that house or town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. We begin this week meditating how we disable Christ in our everyday life and we continue to meditate how to be enablers of Christ. And today we continue to meditate sending the apostles two by two, Jesus gives them the instructions how to be his apostles and disciples. And so what a Jew would hear from this is two things. One is that they are sent to be comforting and become a blessing. Two, every place they enter is as sacred as the temple. And so the whole idea of harmony in Jesus, that the Messiah would bring peace to
to the entire creation the way it was in the garden of eden is what being heard here that jerusalem temple is the only place jews were told that you don't take any of these things no walking stick no belts no money no tunic no sandals leave them all outside in all eastern religions still that's the practice and jesus is extending that sacredness of the temple to every home they enter this was the reason in the past all catholics homes had holy water in their prayer place at crucifix because they were as sacred as the temple let us pray gracious and loving father we thank you for the gift of our faith and this day the gift of our life we pray for our holy father and all the leaders of the church that they all be a witness for the sacredness of life and family we pray to the lord lord we pray for all those who are hospitalized all those who are struggling with health that they all be healed and strengthened we pray to the lord lord we pray for all our deceased and departed that they all be in your eternal bliss we pray to the lord let us pray in silence for our personal intentions gracious father we offer all these prayers and those that are in the silence of our hearts help us this day to be agents of your peace your harmony we ask this through christ our lord amen Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you the fruit of the earth and work of human hands thus will become the bread of our life Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you the fruit of wine work of human hands thus will become our spiritual drink wash me lord from all my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins My dear sisters and brothers pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice for me for the praise and glory of his name for all good for all his holy church amen may this oblation dedicated to your name purify us o lord and day by day bring our conduct closer to life of heaven through Christ our lord the lord be with you lift up your hearts let us give thanks to the lord our god 
it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for when your children were scattered far by sin through the blood of your son and the power of the spirit you gathered them again to yourself that a people formed as one by the unity of the trinity made the body of christ and the temple of the holy spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church and so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you and with joy we proclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving you thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and uh, eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope stephen our bishop and all the clergy remember your servant david pulte whom you have called from this world to yourself remember also our parents brothers sisters and children who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god our patroness with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased to you throughout the ages we may merit to be choirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son our lord 
Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look, not on our sins, but on the faith of this your church, and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away. My dear sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us, to all those who receive him. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. 
Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the price of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you this day and all the days of your life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Let us go and be a blessing to each other. Have a blessed day.